All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire up a single EMG humbucker into a Stratocaster pickguard. This is pretty much everything you need here. Is a EMG comes with all the wiring that you're going to need. Um, there's a knob, and then there's the pickguard. So if you have a guitar, this is all just going to drop right in. No soldering required. Let's get on into it. The one thing you're going to need, I guess, is some type of shielding. What I'm going to use is some nice thick copper. It's on a 3-inch roll here. But you can use, you know, smaller stuff. You could even use uh, aluminum that you can buy from all the guitar supply shops. I have a template here because I do this quite a bit. So you don't necessarily need to make a template. You could just kind of make a shape similar to this. You want to make sure you wash your hands too before you do this because if you have like oil or grease on your hands it's going to leave little fingerprint rainbow marks all over your your shielding so that's going to be my cutout and that'll fit perfectly right on there i also have a roller brush you don't necessarily need that either you could grab like a sock put your hand in the sock and as you peel the corner of that off just kind of rub it along with the sock or something because you don't want to rub your fingers all over it. And then keep it real smooth. You don't want any air bubbles. Okay, so then you take an X-Acto blade. You want to separate the shielding. I like to separate it a little bit like that and fold it back. Don't fold the shielding though because if you start getting creases, it's going to look ugly. Also, if you peel it, it's going to wrinkle up the whole way. You don't want that either. And we'll even zoom in a little bit on this. The way I place it, you can see. Start at the bottom corner. Kind of lay the whole thing flat so you can tell you're going to be laying it all in the right area. Start that a little bit right there. Peel it back a little bit so you can reach the tab that you peeled back before underneath. And just roll right along with it. You kind of have to do it quick at the end because it'll... It'll try to conform to the reel that it used to be on. And then just give it a nice solid pressing. These rubber uh, rollers are really nice for this kind of thing. If you do it a lot, if you don't do it a lot, like I said, a sock or something over your hand or some type of soft material, then take your X-Acto again and carve out if you have any other, other than the volume, if you have any other holes, you can go ahead and do that. Today we won't be using a, a tone either. Okay, for this setup, we're not going to use most of this stuff. So, you could take these, toss them in there. You could take the tone, don't need that. The heat shrinks, don't need those. At some point, we'll use the output. You don't need the bus. Sticker's cool, we'll keep that around. Um, and we'll be using the mounting, the volume, the output, the main wire, and some of this stuff. Okay, so to set your depth, I like to do it about a half inch above the pick guard. And it's usually about a lock washer for one of these knobs with this type of pick guard. So just slide the lock washer, the star one on first. The, put the pop through the pick guard and then test and see how high this is. Very small gap, perfect. That's all we need to do. So then we're gonna take Flat washer, drop that down, and a nut. Face that like that. Okay, so the diagram we're going to be using today is going to be inside here. One pickup, one volume. Very simple. First step, mount the pickup. 
All right, I actually had to go file this edge right here and this edge a little bit because the pickup didn't fit into this pick guard. Thanks, Warmoth. <laughs> no, it's no big deal. Um, sometimes you have to do that. I've, I've had to do that a couple times. So now to mount the pickups with a small Phillips screwdriver. Obviously put the screw through, if you don't know. Maybe you don't, maybe you've never done this. Then you put the spring on, pull it back and kind of use your nail right there. And then take the pickup and push it against the screw. Then take your thumb, transfer that over, kind of ease it over and make sure you're screwing it in straight. You don't want to strip the pickup, because that can happen. Make sure you get it all nice and easy in very far. I get the second side going. Once again, kind of pull it back. And push it against the hole right there. Okay, so I'll flip it over. Remove the little cover off the EMG pickup. And we'll bring in the main wire harness. If you look close up, You'll see one side has a little arrow right there. That's the side that we want face up to you when you plug it on there. So plug that right there, nice and easy. Just like the diagram shows, the volume is actually faced this way compared to ours. That's what I like to do. Change the diagram around to, to how you're going to do it. All right, so the pickup comes in, and it comes in on the far side. But look at all that extra wire. And like again, this plug's going to have a little arrow too. Well, what do you do with all that extra? Later, we'll bundle it up. But for now, just leave it loose. Next thing is we're going to add the battery clip. I'm going to leave the little, whatever this is. <laughs> Next step is going to be the 9 volt clip and the battery bus. So all you have to do is take the red wire here, plug it into that. And now you'll put this through the cavity and match it up with your diagram to your output jack. Also, you'll take the remaining cable that you need, not the cable tie, the cable, and you'll feed this side through from the output jack side into this, and then this plugs right on next to it. Black wire, white wire, black wire, white wire, arrows facing up, just like the diagram shows. So eventually that'll be plugged on like that, these will plug onto here. Just follow the instructions on how to do that. The three prongs, they matter, so I don't just pick three prongs and put them on. And like I said, what do you do with all this extra? Well, that's why I have, like the cable tie here. So it's gonna come around like that. Maybe we'll leave a little bit over there. And like that. Same with this wire, rotted in here. And now take, I like to take this and put it under here. So it kind of secures it down to the pickup. You gotta keep it tight inside the screws. You don't want the wires to go outside these screws here like this. You want it inside like that. And not too tight, you don't need to get crazy. Just, you know, to keep it in a little bundle. If you really want to get real clean, you could uh, leave the black wire out. It's going to need the distance. And wrap your red wire up too. And voila. You don't need to connect the factory ground back to it. It's good to go just like that. So if you have it like that, you could drop it right in your strat. Throw your knob on it ready to shred.